Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the search function in MS Excel. The Microsoft Excel search function returns the position of the first character of substring or search text in a string. The function does not discriminate between uppercase and lowercase letters while searching. Unlike find, search allows wildcard characters like question mark and asterisk. The question mark matches any single character whereas the asterisk matches any sequence of character. However, in case if we want to find an actual question mark or an asterisk, we type a tilde before this character. If the substring is not found within the string, then the function will return value error. Search functions can be used as powerful string method function when combined it with mid function. Let's have a look at the Excel sheet. Here we have some dummy data in column A. Column B contains the text which we'll be searching for. And here in column C, we'll be extracting the final output. So let's go to C7. We'll type here equal S-E-A-R-C-H. And here we can see the description of search function. It says returns the number of the character at which a specific character or text string is first found. It treats from left to right and it is not case sensitive function. So we hit tab to auto complete the function and here we can see this function takes three arguments. The first find text is the substring you wish to find. You can also use wildcard characters. Second is within text. It is the text or string you wish to search for. And the last one is starting number. It is a position in within text string from where the search will start. If omitted, it is assumed to be 1. So now let's search for AGE. So we type AGE in double quotes since this is text and we select A7 as we want to find the string within this text. And in the third argument, we want to start looking from the first character itself. So we type 1 here in the third argument and when we hit enter, it returns 1 because the search is looking from the first character and it found AGE from the first character. So it gives us 1 here. But have you noticed that AGE is written in uppercase whereas we are looking this text in agency dashboard which is in running letters. It is because search function is not case sensitive function. Now let's see what happens when we do not give the starting position. So we type search in C8 and it search for small c then comma and now we are going to search in A8 so we select A8 and we close the parenthesis and we hit enter. As moment as we hit enter the function returns to 1 because C is present at the first position in the string and the default option that applies here because we haven't entered the starting number. Okay. But what if we give the starting number as 0 or negative number as the starting position. So double click on the cell C8 to get into the edit mode and we'll type minus 1 as a starting number and whoa, we get value error because neither negative value nor 0 can be entered as a starting position. Now, let's say when we enter the starting position something other than 1, only positive numbers, the function, let's say we type 2 here, the function returns value error again because if you look at the string, Excel starts looking from the second character onwards, which is O in this case, not C. Hence, it cannot find C here. Therefore, it returns the value error. So whenever the string is not found, search returns value error. In the next example, we will show you what if we have to find the text which is there multiple times in the string. So let's go to C9. Here we'll search for letter O in A9. As you can see here, there are three O's in this string. First is at fourth position, second is at ninth position, and the last one is at 15th position. So we'll tell Excel to start looking from fifth position onwards. So we'll type five here in the last argument and we hit enter. It ignores the previous O which is at the fourth position and starts looking for O from fifth character which is N in this case. However, 
it returns the overall position of the string so now let's move to the next example so we'll now search for wildcard characters position so we'll type search here in cell c10 and we'll look for asterisk first so we type asterisk in double quotes comma we'll select a10 as a cell reference and we'll tell excel to start looking from the first character itself so we type one here and close parenthesis and hit enter oops wait the function returns to one but we cannot see asterisk here in the beginning of this cell it is because we cannot find any wildcard character without using tilde so we use tilde as a marker to indicate that the next character is a literal so we'll insert tilde before asterisk and hit enter now the function returns 16 as a position which seems to be correct position and now if we change it with question mark it gives us 37 as the position of the question mark now in c11 let's type search and then question mark o f question mark in double quotes and then we'll select a11 comma and then one in the last argument and now we hit enter we see function returns six because it matches soft which is present in the mid of this string microsoft excel and hence the value is six here remember the question mark wildcard denotes any single character another example of wildcard is let's have a look at cell a12 which contains excel microsoft and now we'll go to d12 and we'll type search function here in first argument we'll tell function to look for the string which starts with m and ends with t but after m we'll put asterisk and then we'll put t here and now double quotes comma and now select a12 in the second argument and now we'll tell excel to start looking from the first character itself one here close parenthesis and enter it gives us seven because it analyzes this text excel microsoft and it finds that there's a string which starts with m and ends with t no matter how many characters are there in between and hence it returns seven because as this wildcard matches any sequence of character so this is how we can use search function in different ways in ms excel we hope you found this lesson informative we shall meet again in our next lesson till then happy learning and have a nice day